In the 30s, at the height of his fame, uh, Shaw wrote his uh, clarinet concerto for himself and his big band. Shaw was uh, frustrated by the three minute length of the little records of the time, and this is a more extended piece. It uh, filled up two sides of a long playing record of the day, all of eight minutes. It has uh, five sections, it goes slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. Um, the first slow section is a jazzy introduction. Then comes uh, something out of the past. It's an old fashioned boogie woogie, uh, a form that dates way back before the beginning of jazz. And it's really uh, actually in the, in the form of a blues, if you listen to the harmonies. It's a classic blues, but it's faster for dancing. And it has that, that sort of chugga, 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 chugga rhythm. Play it, play it, give, give us a little of that boogie woogie. Yeah, there we go. That's it, yeah. I was trying to figure out how to describe that. I was in the, in the uh, grocery store the other day and it was running through my mind and I found myself walking down the aisle saying, paper towels, paper towels, paper towels, paper towels. <laughs> uh. then, then comes another slow section. Uh, and um, it's, uh, that's like a cadenza in a classical concerto where everybody else stops pretty much and the soloist gets to do all sorts of fancy stuff. Um, then comes the second fast section. It's a hard driving swing of this, uh, that, that Shaw was famous for, and that's accompanied mostly just by the drums. Um, the conclusion is, again, a kind of cadenza. Uh, just a word about the music in those cadenzas. It's very interesting. Artie Shaw's real name was Arthur Arshawski, and he grew up in a Jewish family in Connecticut, and he encountered some uh, discrimination against Jews as a kid. He ran away to New York City, changed his name to Shaw, and in those days, he wouldn't have been able to do what he did if he was known to be Jewish. Uh, and these cadenza sections uh, have some real flavor of traditional Jewish music in them. I think you can hear, especially at the very end, is quite klezmer-ish. And I think Shaw was doing some sly business here. I, he was paying, paying respect to his heritage and also thrilling his audience with music that uh, some of them probably wouldn't have listened to if they knew where it came from. I'm not going to try to imitate Artie Shaw. Uh, he called this a concerto, which means the soloists can do whatever they want, so I will. <laughs>